I was listening to a video today, a little quick short um, video posted by a pastor. And she was talking about not to look back. Don't look back. She was saying that in, in the book of Genesis, you know, she was talking about like in Genesis 19, 26, that Lot's wife looked back. You know, the angel of the Lord told Lot, you know, to take his family and go because they were going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They was going to destroy that area. But as they were leaving, Lot's wife, she turned around and looked back. And right here in Genesis 19, 26, I'm reading from the Amplifier's Bible, the Amplifier Bible, but Lot's wife from behind him foolishly, longly look back towards Sodom in an act of disobedience. And she became a pillar of salt. Yeah, y'all. <clears throat> God, he wants to deliver us from many things. We pray for so much. I know I do. I pray for so much and asking God to move in my life, you know, to bless me abundant and overflowing, to bless me, <clears throat> excuse me, to bless me, to be a blessing to others. And I ask him to take things away that is not of him, you know, that's not in his will. And he will do it, but we have to let go, you know, let go and let God. We have to move on. We have to just learn to trust and believe in God. What he has for us is better than what we can even fathom because he knows the ending before the beginning. He knew us before he formed us in the womb of our mothers. He has a perfect plan mapped out for our lives. If we just humble ourselves, trust and believe in him and his will for our lives. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have to stop holding on to things that God is trying to take from us. You know, we have to let those things go so God can bless us with abundant and overflowing his best for our lives and trust and believe. Even though we don't see it, we have to believe it because he said things that we see are only temporal. What we don't see is eternal. So we have to believe and know without a shadow of a doubt that God's will for our lives is the perfect will. He would not give us anything less. It's perfect. He know how he knows how to get good, give good gifts. So we just have to trust and believe in our father and not be like Lot's wife. We have to not foolishly long looking back towards Sodom, looking back toward things that he has told us to let go. We have to learn to let go and let God and move on. And just know that it's going to work out for your good. So whoever this word is for, be still. <clears throat> be still, because I know it was for me. Be still and let God. God is ordering our steps. He's moving us in, in, in places. You know, he's moving us step by step into different jobs, different doors being open, different areas of work, stuff that we're not comfortable doing and familiar with doing. Um stuff that may be challenging, things that we're not qualified for. He'll bless us and, and, you know, just give it to us. And the Holy Spirit will teach you how to do it when he put you there. So just know, I'm not just saying this to you. I, I'm saying this to me as well. Be still, y'all. Take your hands off of it. Let God do what it is that he needs to do. So he can bless us abundant and overflowing in every area of our lives. So I just hope this is a blessing. Let go, y'all. Be still. Don't try to hold on to stuff that God is trying to take from you because he has to have your hands empty so he can fill them up with new things, bigger and better things, y'all. Things that's where he can get the glory. So, Because nobody's going to be able to say they was able to say, do that for you. Only God is going to be able to get the glory, you know? And that's a testimony, That'll draw others to Christ because they're going to be like, man, how you did that? Girl, how did you do that? Who did you know? Who did you talk to? And all you're going to be able to do is say, nobody. I just prayed and asked God and trust and believe by faith. Faith is small as a mustard seed and God did it for me. That's a testimony. That's something we can use to draw others to Christ, sharing his word, telling the story about 
Lot's wife, how she looked back when God was trying to move her forward, her and her family. So I pray it was a blessing to you. Enjoy your day. Love you much, friends and family.